We're going to use a technique called the method of partial fraction to evaluate the integral x to the fourth minus 4x squared plus x plus 1. Divide that by x squared minus 4. Now in order to use partial fraction, we first have to make sure that the degree of the numerator is strictly less than the degree of the denominator. But in our case here, the degree of the numerator is 4. It is bigger than the degree of the denominator, which is equal to 2. So first we have to perform long division. And we have x to the fourth minus 4x squared plus x plus 1. We're going to divide it by x squared minus 4. So this will be x squared. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth minus 4x squared. Now subtract the second line from the first. x to the fourth minus x to the fourth minus 4x squared minus a minus 4x squared cancel. We end up with x plus 1. Since this degree of x plus 1 is 1 and the degree of x squared minus 4 is 2, we have to stop. x plus 1 is the remainder. Now, what does that mean? It means x to the fourth minus 4x squared plus x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 4 equals x squared plus x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 4. And so when we return to the integral, there were, we were trying to evaluate the integral, this complicated integral of x to the fourth minus 4x squared plus x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 4 can now be expressed as two integrals. The first one is the integral of x squared plus the second integral of x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 4. Well, this first is 1 third x cubed plus the integral of x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 4. So all we have to do to finish the original problem is to evaluate the integral of x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 4. Let's use partial fraction decomposition. That's because here, for this integral, the degree of the numerator is equal to 1 it's strictly less than the degree of the denominator, which is equal to 2, and we can use method of partial fraction. x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 4 is x plus 1 divided by x minus 2 times x plus 2. And so this is because we have two distinct linear terms. This is a divided by x minus 2 plus b divided by x plus 2. How do we do that? We multiply both of these terms by x minus 2 times x plus 2. That leaves x plus 1 on the left. a times x minus 2 is canceled. So a times x plus 2 plus b times x minus 2. And then we plug in x equal to 2 and x equals minus 2 for x. Plugging in 2 on the left, we have 3 equals to 4a. Therefore, a is equal to 3 divided by 4. Plugging in minus 2, we have minus 1 on the left, and that's equal to minus 4b. So b is equal to 1 divided by 4. Now let's return to the integral. We have the integral of x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 4. It is now expressed as a, which is 3 over 4, times the integral of 1 divided by x minus 2, plus b, 1 fourth, times the integral of 1 divided by x plus 2. And this is 3 divided by 4, natural log, absolute value x minus 2, plus 1 over 4, natural log, absolute value of x plus 2. If we factor out 1 fourth, And that leaves us with 3 times natural log of absolute value x minus 2 plus natural log of absolute value of x plus 2. And we can put those together. So this is 1 fourth times the natural log of absolute value of x minus 2 cubed times x plus 2. 
So let's put everything together now for the final answer. We wanted to evaluate the integral of x to the fourth minus 4x squared plus x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 4. We wanted to use method of partial fraction. First we had to perform long division. Performing long, long division reduces this integral into two integrals. The first one is x squared dx. The second integral is x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 4. In evaluating both of these integrals, we get the final answer, which is 1 third x cubed plus 1 fourth times the natural log absolute value of x minus 2 cubed times x plus 2. And then we can add a constant of integration at the end. So this problem shows you that sometimes you have to perform long division before you can, you can use the method of 